Tonight, won't you join us here in the Salvador Dali Suite at the Hotel Les Maris in Paris. You're in for a very nostalgic evening as we explore the incredible history of this suite. Once belonging to Salvador Dali, before Salvador Dali, King Alphonse XIII of Spain occupied this suite. Dali himself came here following the death of the King of Spain and asked if he could live in his quarters. He moved in and remained here for 30 years. Salvador Dali, one of the greatest artists in the world, whose work to date is probably one of the most important collections acquired, worked solely in this space when in Paris. This original piece of furniture belonged to Dali. Today it remains as the last memento of Dali living in this suite. We are going to explore in the next 24 hours what it's like to be in the suite once occupied by Salvador Dali. There are many fascinating features of the suite. As we walk through, you will see just the luster and luxury of this space. There are many fine interior features in the suite. The beautiful French fabric, which just again accents the simplicity yet the royalty of the personages that lived in the suite. The French chairs updated obviously, but with significant design, most beautiful. The drapery as well. Mr. Dolly was known for, for his eccentric work in art. He was a nobleman in his own right, even though he did not come from wealth. And he was educated and inspired by so many artists before him. One of his closest friends was Walt Disney, as ironic as that may sound. But Mr. Dolly worked extremely well in the clo closed atmosphere of this apartment. One of the features which I find so fascinating is this one space, this window. It has been told that Dolly stood in front of this window all of the time being inspired by the Tuileries and the Louvre and of course the people passing by. On one occasion he opened the windows and standing with just his palette he began to spew paint down onto the streets. Anybody walking directly under this window would have gotten a touch of Dolly. Salvador Dali tonight. We celebrate this great dinner here at Hotel Le Maris. And the table is set. We overlook the Tuileries. It is the beginning of April, so there is nothing better than Paris in the springtime. April in Paris. Let the dinner begin. Just treasure the beautiful Julie. Yes. I mean, just beautiful. Yes. Turner has been infused with something, as well as it is it is um, served with a fantastic creamed sorrel sauce, just a tad. And again, this baby little onion was served on top. What I do love, though, however, is the mixture of these fresh garden vegetables, peas. That are so now it is my favorite time of the meal. This is the fromage. Benjamin is going to tell us about these beautiful cheeses from different parts of France, I would assume. Let me 
So it has many different layers inside. Yeah, lemon inside. Lemon. And you have some chocolate here. Chocolate. And lemon. this looks like a lemon. That's what's so... Like it. As Jim said last night, Cinderella's time is nearly up, and within the next hour, I will be dressed and gone from this beautiful environment and atmosphere, but it was truly a pleasure to be a guest of one of the Dorchester Collection's greatest hotels in the world.